I found this old laminate cabinet sitting in the back of my basement and decided that with a little paint, it would make a great bathroom vanity. Laminate has a reputation of being hard to paint, but with the right primer, it's really not so bad. Come see exactly what I did to make this transformation happen. To complete this project, you'll obviously need paint and general painting supplies like paintbrushes and rollers. I also recommend sandpaper and an orbital sander to make sure your piece is prepped correctly. Finally, and most importantly, you'll need a high quality bonding primer. I used Zinsser's oil-based cover stain primer since I had it on hand, but I've heard great things about their shellac-based bin primer as well. I had some repairs to make before I actually started painting. The laminate was a little bubbly and the sides were chipped in some places. I filled in the chips with drywall patching compound and sanding the piece smoothed out all the bubbles. If I'd been smart, I would have waited until the patching compound was dry to sand so that I only had to sand once, but well, I didn't. After letting the patching compound dry for a while, I sanded it down and then thoroughly cleaned the cabinets. If you're working with kitchen cabinets, grab a good degreaser for this part. I'm pretty sure my cabinet was in a bathroom, so I just used a general purpose cleaner. Finally, I primed the cabinet. Be sure whatever paintbrush you use for this part is one you consider disposable. Both the oil-based and shellac-based primers are really difficult to clean. It's much easier to just use a cheapo disposable brush and toss it when you're done. If you're worried about brush strokes, know that I used a roller when I applied the paint itself and none of the brush strokes from the primer layer showed through. If you're really concerned about it, you can do a light sanding before applying paint. That should get rid of any brush stroke texture. I only did one coat of primer and it can be recoated in about an hour, so I didn't have to wait too long before applying paint. I applied the paint with a four inch kitchen and bath roller, which was super easy and meant that I didn't have to worry about avoiding brush strokes. I did two coats of paint, waiting at least two hours in between the coats, and then let everything dry for 48 hours before I moved the cabinet upstairs and into the bathroom. Then the cabinet was done. It's an easy and quick project, given that you use the right primer for laminate furniture. I love how it turned out, and if you do too, be sure to like, subscribe, and share this video with a friend. And if you want more information, check out the blog post linked in the description below. Thanks, and don't forget to hit subscribe.